When entering the new CIA museum, your instinct is to immediately start looking around for the one-of-a-kind spy artifacts on display. But just like the CIA missions, there is more than what meets the eye. CIA museum staff knew they wanted to bring visitors on a 360-degree historical experience. After thinking outside the box, the ceiling became a great way to tie specific missions and periods in history together. The ceiling boasts five types of code, all containing messages that we hope someday someone will solve. The museum starts off with Morse code as a nod to our origins during World War II. In the Vietnam sections, you have both domino and tap code. CIA analysts rejected the so-called domino theory, favored by many in the US government, that assessed that if Vietnam fell to the forces of communism, then all of Southeast Asia would succumb as well, like a row of dominoes. During the Vietnam War, tap code was used by US prisoners of war and became one of the most covert ways to communicate with each other without captors' knowledge. Binary code covers the ceiling in an area of the museum that focuses on cyber defense, digital footprints, and artificial intelligence. And at the very end of the museum, the ceiling is letter after letter of cipher, just waiting for someone to decode it. Foreign language skills are incredibly important at CIA because we're a global organization that focuses on national security threats all over the world. In this section of the museum, we combined imagery and language to represent the period of the Cold War. The American Eagle takes flight at the hammer and the sickle of the Soviet Union, and all of the text is in Cyrillic. In another section, we pay homage to our officers and their language abilities, where everything is written in multiple languages from all over the world. The ceiling looks like a redacted document in the next section that's dedicated to some of the most important Soviet assets during the Cold War, but it contains important information or quotes related to assets, case officers, and counterintelligence. Sometimes CIA can release a document, but to protect our sources and methods, we must redact or black out some of the language before release. We have outlines of famous US aerial reconnaissance methods, uh, missiles over the deep dive in the Cuban Missile Crisis, maps covering CIA's presence during history's most famous wars, and a section that pays homage to 9-11 and CIA's response. We hope you will join us again as we give you a closer look at the new CIA Museum. <laughs>